Hey guy lovers and welcome back to another video. Our kidneys are two of the most important organs in the body, and just like us humans, cats depend on them to remove waste products from their blood, manage blood pressure, and make hormones among other things. Healthy kidneys allow these processes to occur seamlessly, but what happens if a cat's kidneys aren't working properly? Unfortunately, poor kidney function is more prevalent in cats than one might think, and understanding the causes, signs, and potential risks can be the single best thing you can do for your feline friend. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's discuss everything you need to know about chronic kidney disease in cats, from the signs and effects to how it can be prevented and treated. What is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, is the persistent loss of kidney function over time. It's a common but serious illness in cats that if left untreated will make them feel horribly ill. The condition is characterized by a gradual decline in kidney function which can lead to a number of complications and ultimately death. One in every three cats over the age of seven will get chronic kidney disease in their lifetime. This is a much higher number than dogs who have a one in ten chance. CKD is caused when nephrons, tiny structures in the kidney responsible for filtering waste products out of the blood, are damaged. This damage can be irreversible and progressively gets worse over time. Diagnosing CKD in the later stages of disease means that there may be too much damage to the nephrons, so treatment options are based on helping the pet feel better and trying to prevent more damage to the remaining nephrons. Cats with CKD experience an increase of waste products such as urea and creatinine, which at high levels can begin to increase blood pressure, debilitate them, and damage vital organs. This, unsurprisingly, leads to many unfortunate complications that we will further touch on. The cause of CKD in cats is often not known, but there are several things researchers have found to increase the chances of a cat being diagnosed with it. The main risk factor is age. Cats 7 years and older have an increased chance of being diagnosed with kidney disease. This decline in function can be accelerated by other factors such as genetics, infection, exposure to toxins, or the development of other diseases. For example, certain breeds of cats such as the Maine Coon, Persian, Abyssinian, and Siamese have a higher risk of developing CKD. Additionally, cats that have been exposed to toxins such as lilies or certain pesticides are also at a higher risk of developing the disease. Bacterial or viral infections as well as kidney inflammations are also on this list. Chronic dehydration, high blood pressure, diabetes, kidney stones, and physical trauma are just a few others. It's important to note that CKD is a chronic condition and there is no cure. Treatment is aimed at managing symptoms and slowing the progression of the disease. With proper care and management, many cats with CKD are able to live comfortably for many years. The Signs The symptoms of CKD in cats can be subtle at first and may not appear until the disease is well advanced, at which point up to 75% of their kidney function could be permanently lost. Here are some signs to look out for. Increased thirst and urination, weight loss, vomiting, bad breath, and loss of appetite. As the disease progresses, cats may also experience lethargy, anemia, or changes in their coat and skin. If a cat is suspected of having CKD, a veterinarian will typically perform blood and urine testing to measure the number of markers, including, but not limited to, creatinine and blood urea nitrogen, which are indicators of kidney function. Cats are good at hiding these signs. An owner can misinterpret their cat drinking less water than usual as CKD, when in fact they may just be picky with their hydration that week. Perhaps they've lost muscle and weight simply due to their natural aging process, but one can never really know for sure. Having a bit more certainty when making the decision of taking them to the vet immediately can change your furry friend's fate. With that said, one of the best things we can do to ensure our pet's kidneys remain healthy is frequent screening. Catching kidney illness early and starting a treatment plan can extend our pet's remaining lifespan by up to three times and ensure they are not suffering. Now it's time for a quick break to tell you about this video's sponsor, Kidney Check. Kidney Check is an at-home saliva test for cats and dogs that screens for urea, a waste product that builds up in your pet when their kidneys are not functioning properly. Veterinary professionals recommend that Kidney Check should be used every four months to screen your pet's kidney health in between annual vet visits. Kidney Check supplied us with some samples, so we tested them on Maggie. It was easy to complete. First, we got Maggie relaxed by petting her and letting her sniff the test. Next, we gently rubbed the test pad against her gums for about 10 seconds until it was wet enough. Then we immediately set a timer for 2 minutes and waited. To our surprise, the result color was about number 4 on the chart. According to the test pad score, this means we need to retest her in one month. If the color stays in the blue range, we need to contact our vet to do further testing. We're thankful that Kidney Check brought this concern to our attention. 
We'll have a link to this product in the description box below. Now back to the show. How to prevent CKD. Preventing chronic kidney disease in cats can be challenging as the exact causes are not known. However, here are some steps that may help reduce the risk of CKD in cats. Number one, proper nutrition. Feeding your cat a balanced diet that is appropriate for their age, weight, and activity level can help support kidney health. Number two, hydration. Ensuring that your cat stays hydrated by providing fresh water and encouraging them to drink more can help reduce the risk of CKD. Number three, avoid toxins. Keeping your cat away from potentially toxic substances such as antifreeze and certain plants can also help reduce the risk of CKD. Number four, regular veterinary checkups. Regular veterinary checkups and blood work can help detect CKD early and allow for prompt treatment. Number five, treating underlying medical conditions. Treating underlying medical conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes can help reduce the risk of CKD. Number six, monitoring kidney function. Regular monitoring of kidney function through laboratory tests can help detect CKD early and allow for prompt treatment. Preventing the development of CKD in cats is essential to ensure the health and well-being of our feline companions. It's important to remember that CKD is often a progressive and incurable disease, and early detection and treatment can greatly improve the quality of life for cats with CKD. One of the most important things cat owners can do is to schedule regular veterinary checkups, as early detection and treatment of the disease can slow its progression. Additionally, cat owners should be vigilant about preventing exposure to toxins and providing their cats with a healthy diet that is appropriate for their age and activity level. How to Treat CKD If your cat has already been diagnosed with kidney disease, the next step is coming up with a treatment plan with your vet. Treatment for CKD in cats is typically aimed at slowing the progression of the disease and managing the symptoms. This can include dietary changes, such as feeding a low-protein diet, as well as medications to control blood pressure and manage anemia. In some cases, cats could also be treated by undergoing dialysis or receiving a kidney transplant. Without question, seeing your cat go through a condition like CKD can be one of the most heartbreaking and emotional experiences. Simply knowing that the condition is almost impossible to be reversed and that it's something your cat will have to live with for the rest of their life is very difficult. Despite this, understanding that things can still be done to help them live as peacefully as possible is one of the most noble and loving things one can do as a pet owner. It cannot be understated how much a treatment plan can help lessen their suffering and in some cases, extend their remaining lifespan if caught early enough. They're our best friends and they deserve nothing less than the best. So here are some things that you can do at home to help your cat feel better. These include, first, feeding your cat a high quality diet that is low in protein, phosphorus, and sodium, and high in water-soluble vitamins, fiber, and antioxidant concentrations. Cats often have a hard time accepting a new therapeutic diet, so as a pet parent, one has to be patient and stick to the plan. Next is providing plenty of fresh, preferably running water at all times. Also, keeping your cat indoors can reduce the risk of exposure to toxins. Finally, regular veterinary checkups to monitor your cat's condition and adjust treatment as needed. At the vet, a number of different monitoring tools and treatments can be considered to reduce suffering and increase a pet's remaining lifespan. These include, number one, doing blood tests. Blood tests show the concentration of two important waste products, blood urea nitrogen and creatinine. A higher level of these will indicate officially the level of damage already present in the kidneys, allowing the vet to plan the next steps. Number two, doing fluid therapy. This consists of providing additional fluids to cats with CKD that can help flush waste products from the kidneys and maintain hydration, lowering blood pressure by reducing the workload on the heart. Number three, providing medications. There are several medications that can help control the symptoms of CKD and slow its progression, such as angiotensin. Number four, supplements. Vitamin and mineral supplements may be recommended to help cats with CKD maintain their health, inhibiting infections and reducing inflammation. These can also maintain their physical and mental strength. Number five, blood pressure control. Not only does CKD cause high blood pressure, but high blood pressure going unregulated can worsen and accelerate the CKD condition. So it's important to monitor and control blood pressure in cats with CKD. A vet will likely recommend doing these much more often than the usual annual checkup. Number six, symptomatic treatment. On top of the many treatments related to blood pressure, treatment of symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and appetite loss may be necessary to help improve the cat's quality of life. These are some of the effects that come with CKD, and although treating them won't change the outcome of the condition, it will reduce the suffering your pet goes through. As always, it's important to work closely with a veterinarian to develop an individualized treatment plan for your cat. 
every cat will need different things depending on factors such as their breed and the stage of their condition. Overall, chronic kidney disease is a serious condition that can affect cats of any age, and it's important to be aware of the signs so that you can get your cat the help they need as soon as possible. While there is no cure for CKD, treatment can slow its progression and manage symptoms. It's important to schedule regular veterinary checkups, prevent exposure to toxins, and provide a healthy diet to prevent the disease from developing. By taking these steps, cat owners can help ensure the health and well-being of their feline companions for years to come. Now we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.